Hello, my name is Robert French. I'm a 3D printing applications engineer with Go Engineer, and today we're going to be talking about the face tab within the model settings for an FDM print. Just like the body tab, the face tab looks mostly locked until we finally make a face selection. When we do, we see a couple associated dimensions and all of our options unlock, including surface thickness. This refers to the outer wall thickness of our part and is by default our Z height resolution or kind of our XY toolpath width. It's going to mean one toolpath or one raster on all of those outer walls. And this sometimes isn't sufficient. So we can actually increase that to reinforce these mounting holes, for instance, and it really adds a lot of strength to the part and it's a really easy to use feature, very commonly used and can really help you get the most out of your part. As we go through our model and make various changes to faces, sometimes we want to revert back to our default state. We can highlight multiple holes at the same time, right click any one of them and use the reset face properties to default button. The next option on the face tab is the avoid seams checkbox. As we're printing a part on the outer surfaces, toolpath is going to be starting and stopping in a similar location every time. And this can make some unsightly geometry and kind of reduce quality of a print. If we want to avoid that and ensure high quality on our outer surfaces or inside of holes, we can use this avoid seam button to ensure that toolpath is not starting and stopping on these outer surfaces in the same spot every time and really give us a higher quality print. We can actually jump into the slicer and visualize where these seams are going to be created. The next option is make self-supporting. You'll notice I've rotated the part to a different print orientation and not one that I would recommend for this part, but want to stick with the same part and still illustrate this concept. What make self-supporting does is makes all of those now horizontal holes into a different type of geometry that no longer requires support. It actually changes the geometry quite fundamentally. You can see these basically square holes, but because we have a 45 degree self-supporting angle for support material, we no longer require any support to print those geometries. The last option on the face tab is apply insert. Sometimes we want to increase the strength of our FDM print even further, especially in those critical areas like where bolts are mounted. This allows us to kind of rectify and modify our geometry to accept common inserts or hardware from off the shelf. The first two types we see here are heat set and helical inserts. And both of those come with a bunch of standard sizes that Stratasys has tried and tested and can recommend to modify your geometry to accept those different inserts. We have a third type here as well, which is custom, where if you do some testing on your own and figure out what geometry works best for you, then you can save those and use those easily in the future. Now I've already set it up to do a quarter 20 insert and you notice some orange coloring on the various holes. And at the top of my screen, I can see that the model geometry is out of date. By simply clicking update, I'll see the whole size update to accept that new size fastener or helical insert. And when I go look at my slicing, I see that it's added several more rasters and modified the geometry to best accept this hardware. That covers the face tab for model settings on an FDM print. I've made several other videos kind of going over the various tabs and options you see on the right hand side there. Be sure to check those out and thanks for watching.